G'day folks, on such a cold, windy and wet winter's day, Holly and I have decided to come cray fishing. The river's high, we haven't been able to get out lately, but we've modified the nets. You may have seen a video that I made recently where I cut the bottom out of the nets and modified them for bank cray fishing. Well today we've modified four nets and we've come down here to do some craying. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Rightio folks, now we modified two nets, we come down and we put them in an hour ago and now we've just returned with the other two nets. So we're going to check the two that we put in an hour ago, then we're going to put the other two in so that we've got four in, then we're going to check them, I don't know, every one minute. Every hour. Every hour. You got anything you'd like to add? Like and subscribe and turn on that post notification. Rightio, I'm cray fishing off. A very high bank. Oh, and I'm snagged. Not a great way to start. No, I'm off the snag. But I feel like the net's tangled. Is it? Oh, that's tangled, all right. Holly, look. It's tangled up in a dirty great big crayfish. I can't get it up. I need a stick. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> <crikey. laughs> I'm so surprised that we got one. Look at the net, how twisted and tangled it is. At least we got one. Is it a female with eggs? Yes. No, yes. Yes. Look. <laughs> It's a female with eggs. Hi there, big buddy. Right, I might just go down here and put her back. Normally, I'm in happiness to throw the crayfish off this high bank yeah, because they, got they've got a hard shell and they can withstand the fall. But because she's got eggs, I might just treat her with a bit more gentleness. <laughs> the very first net we what check over here, you reckon? Away from the current. Yeah. I put her in here on the edge, okay? Yeah. I've got to be careful that I don't. Oh, I really slipped. I'm skiing. <laughs> there you go. There you go, darling. There you go, darling. Bye bye. <laughs> We're off to a good start. We got one on the very first net that we checked. Yeah, that's good. We got one on the very first net that we checked. <laughs> right here, Holly, we've got uh, we've got a strike rate of a hundred. You know what that means? Yeah. That means every single time we check the net, there's been a crayfish in it because we've only checked one net <laughs> and we caught a crayfish. If we have one in this net as well, that'll mean we've still got a strike rate of a hundred. No. Nah. Our strike rate just dropped down to fifty. <laughs> Right folks, now these two nets were put in about an hour ago. So I put them back in now and then I'll uh, I've got two others I'm gonna put in. I'm not sure what's looking more second hand here, the net that's all bent or the meat that's all chewed up. But anyway, oh does that go upside down? I'm not sure whether that's gone upside down or not, so I might have to have a re-throw. It has. Look. Lucky I checked. This net's in serious trouble. Now, now it's stuck on there. That's a better throw. That's a good throw. A good throw. A good throw. A good throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how this light little net's going to go just here with all the current that's going through because I've taken the bottom hoop out the net's quite a lot lighter so by landing it there it's probably going to sit on the bottom around here somewhere but there's only one way to find out and to put it in I've changed all my nets I've put some six millimeter rope on here I have been using uh, a green cord but it just tangles so easily I'm not sure how this works, but this net here is all tangled before I even throw it in. But anyway, in you get. I landed the right way up, I'm pretty sure. Now, last time I was craying here, I was throwing my nets in from down there. But that is an absolute death trap at the moment with the uh, that clay being super slippery. Slip in there, go about half a metre from the bank and you're in about 10 feet of water. That's about the height of you deeper than the deep, deep end of the pool that we swim in. That's how deep that is. Why are you still recording me? <laughs> <laughs> I 
if I can. I was waiting for you to have some kind of input. <laughs> doesn't doesn't feel very heavy. No. You are correct. Yeah. Are we Number two. I don't think we will. Am I correct? I think you might be. There's a little one underneath. Oh, did you see that? There was a little one hanging underneath the net and he, uh, <laughs> he fell off. No craze. This is a light net in a heavy current. <laughs> no. Yeah, don't like the look of this. No, 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 no. I'm not sold on it. I want to go down there, but it's going to be as slippery as a really, 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 really slippery thing. Don't go over there. You're an idiot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to watch this. We have no towels in the car if you fall in. Look how much of an idiot he is to even go over there. It's just, it's just a joke. Oh my god, Dad. Yep. We're good. Yep. I. <laughs> I caught that on tape. Oh, I told you it was slippery. <laughs> All right. You got your foot on the float? Why are these floats so tangled here? All good? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I told you it was slippery! Well, I'll put the net in and we'll laugh at me afterwards. <laughs> Holly told me not to come in here because it's too slippery. I think she was right. <laughs> Rightio, now last time we checked this net there was a little crayfish hanging underneath it. Yes. Let's hope he's back and let's hope he's in the net this time. Yeah. Oh, there's, we've got one. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we didn't bring the measurer. Wait, he's in the bucket. I think he's undersized, darling, but we'll, we'll measure, we'll check. <laughs> oh, another one with eggs, look. I really got pinched by. Is that hissing? Yeah. Holly wants to know whether or not the uh, the feet hurt when they bite. They do a bit. How are we going to put it back? Wait, I'm going to measure it. Okay. Hold, my, hold the camera for me, will you? No, I can't. Quick, quick. Ow. He's spiky. Okay. She's spiky. Yeah. Quick, if you want to measure it from her eye to her tail. She's not done. We've got to, can you pull that out? We'll lock it. All right, the tail is 102. So if it didn't have eggs, it'd be the minimum legal size. It would be legal, but only just. <laughs> this is the designated crayfish release zone. And even it's slippery as buggery. Uh, lovely cray. Right here. Lovely crayfish. Yeah, beautiful, lovely female. Oh, did you guys just hear that? Oh. I'm going to put it back here and it'll crawl back because if I go down there, I'm going to slip in the water. Bye bye, crawl daddy. I still see the big white claws out there. There she goes. This is the one that I uh, slipped over before down there. Yeah. So I've decided to, I'm gonna operate this net from up here on the high bank yeah, yeah. for safety reasons. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the last one. All right, this is, the, this is net number four. Has it got a cray in it? No. Yes, a little weeny one. Wait, is it, if it's trying to... Uh oh. <laughs> Hooked on Beethoven, hooked on roots, hooked on roots. Is he gonna fall out? No. <laughs> I wanna pick it up, I wanna pick it up. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'll get it out of the net. No. It's hard to get them out of the net. I'll get it out of the net. Then you can pick it up from the ground while I'll put the net back. 
How you going there? Good, sort of. I'll keep your neck, just don't get bitten by it. I'll go and put this other net back in while you're doing that. Alrighty-o. Back in the drink. I'm really enjoying these modified nets, being able to throw them out so far. There's no way I could throw out a net with two hoops that far and have it land upright. <laughs> he can't bend his arms right back, so just, just grab him there, put your fingers down a little bit, get a good grip. And if I pick him up there like that, yeah. he can't get his claws back any further. Oh. There we go, quick, come over and throw it back. Go over that net. Make sure you throw it so it lands in the water, they're not in the bank. Perfect. Big throw. Good girl. That was the first fish I've ever, crayfish I've ever held. You done very, very well. She's a guru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording here and we're recording live there. Righto. The river's high and I'm cray fishing off the high bank in the rain. Is it a cray? I'm guessing no. I'm saying yes. We've caught a crayfish. We have here. caught a crayfish live on YouTube. It's not a very big one. No, because we're live. No, <laughs> no you know, because it takes you like 10 minutes to pick it up. No, what no. if I hold the claws, you put the you put the leg in no, your... No, I put them on the ground. No, 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 because we've got to go and check the other nets. No, 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 no. You, no, no, no. next time. All right, folks, we've caught a crayfish live on YouTube. That's a first for me. Are you ready? Go, go, Robert, go, Robert, go, Robert. It's heavy, it's heavy. There's another one, we've got a little one. Can I hold it this time? Hang on. Another little weeny one. As long as you're quick because we're filming live. <laughs> I've got an idea. What? Why don't we put the little crayfish in the bucket? And then I can hold them at the end? Yes, then we can check the other nets so that we can keep going live. Then you can do your thing with the crayfish. How does that sound? Right, that's a good throw, a good throw, a good throw. Yeah, that's what he's got to say. This is a spit that come out, that is like a good throw. <laughs> he's going to be saying that in his brand new video coming out in a few days. Let's go. Wait, come on, there's not a second to lose. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, All right. It's so heavy, Holly, there's a monster in here. There's a monster. Oh, this is, this is the one with that really heavy bit of meat. Ready? <sighs> nah, nothing in it. Righty, -a. if you happen to catch the live stream while we're actually cray fishing, this is the cray that I put in the bucket to let Holly throw back. Oh, she's doing really well. She, she handled her first crayfish before and it took her about 10 minutes, but this one, she's got it straight away. If I'd known you were going to be that quick, we would have left it in the live stream, wouldn't we? Yes. Lovely little crayfish. You Take are, photo. you are turning into a little expert. I'll get a photo. Oh, here comes the rain, pouring. Quick, just throw him in there. Make sure you throw him far enough. Make sure, this is the crayfish that we are excluded when we've done the live stream. Hey, done it. Double backflip, triple twist, inverted perkler, half twist, somersault with a rip entry, and I'll give him 10 out of 10. <laughs> Righty, hey, folks, it's night time. It's time for the last check of the net. Do you want to turn the light on, dolls? Oh my god, I'm scared. Hey, shine, shine, the, shine the torch down here on the net, sweetie. Right there where the net's coming up. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Doesn't feel very heavy. I think we're going to get one. Nope. I was correct. You were correct on Monday. Okay, nocturnal net number two. I don't think we're going to get anything. Oh, shit, can you try it down here, darling? What's the string, string cord on? It's wrapped oh. around that stick there. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Snagged on everything. Alright, let's go. No, nah, there's something in here. No, there's not. Maybe a little one. I'm saying there's a little one. Yes, there is one little one. I'm holding it. Okay. 
I need you to shine the torch down there, yeah, because I don't get snagged on everything. All right. One. Yeah, hang on. Grab me my phone. I'm not getting a photo of it in the, in the net. No, I won't, because he's already out of the net. <laughs> Has it got eggs? No, nah, just undersize. Is he a boy? Uh, girl. A young lady. Aww. Without eggs. All right, Sean's watching here. Put him through her back. Where's the water down? Throw it. Can you get Say, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> right, can you shine the torch on the meat, darling? Yeah, net number three. This is the one that I'm tipping is going to have the biggest crane in it. I don't think it will. I'll take it straight away. Yep, there's something in here for sure. It's quite heavy. Oh, this has got that real big bit of meat. <laughs> that I made the same incorrect call with the same net earlier. <laughs> We have not caught a net in this cray all day, in this net all day. Now, try the net, try the torch down the net. And yes, we have. We've got the first. Oh, try the torch in the net. You're shining it out in the middle of the river. We've got a monster in here. Oh <laughs> look at the size of that. This would be a female, won't it? No. Yep, look, big female with eggs. <laughs> Whoa. Can I try and hold that one? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> there we go, folks. The biggest crayfish of the day. Can you just shine the torch up? Try not to shine it directly on it, just off to the about there is good, yeah. Oh, maybe a little bit more. I've got an idea. Turn that one off, I'll try this one on. This is a bit duller. That torch is just a bit too bright. There we go, folks. That is an enormous crayfish. I'm guessing around about 125 mil from a right of a tail. I think she's a bit oversized. She's going back anyway because she's a female with eggs. Mm -hmm. But what an absolute monster. Right, eh? Dolls wants to hold her. Come on, ladies. Holly is going to release this beautiful, big, prehistoric crayfish. Hold her up, darling. Show the camera. Wow. Isn't that huge? <laughs> All right. You put it back in the water. Hey, we, we've come down to the designated crayfish releasing point. That's as slippery as some part of a butcher. All right. There you go. There she goes. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Oh, why are there bubbles coming off? Look, she just turned around. Why is there bubbles coming off? It? I don't know. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Do you want to say the closing scene? Thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Um, See you on the next video.